All right, we're up here in the mountains in Boise. There's the city behind me where all the people are working their nine to fives, trying to be more successful, which is fitting because somebody asked me the other day, hey Ian, how do I become more successful? Which is a pretty broad question, but the reality is there's a scientifically proven way to be more successful. And that's what I wanna share with you today. So keep watching if you don't want to work a nine to five in an office where you're stuck there all day, slaving away, trading time for money. It's insanely beautiful out right now and I'm waiting to get that shot. I'm just gonna push myself to the point of death. You good? Years ago in some laboratory type of environment, they took some kids, and that sounds very weird, but they took these kids and they sat them down and they gave them a marshmallow. They sat a marshmallow in front of them and they said to these kids, hey, if you wait a little bit, we'll give you two marshmallows. And an insane amount of these kids would just eat this marshmallow right away. And some of these kids would actually wait. And it'd be up to maybe 15 minutes. They'd come in, they'd bring them another marshmallow. They used Oreos. If you're thinking, well, I don't like marshmallows anyway, that would be easy. They've done Oreos, all sorts of different little baked goods and things, things that these kids loved. And they found, over the years, they tracked the success of these kids and how these kids turned out, and they found that the single best indicator of success was delayed gratification. Your ability to delay gratification right now to have some sort of reward later. It was the kids who would say, yeah, sure, chill. I'll wait to eat this other marshmallow so that I can get two marshmallows. And to me, that always made sense. Whenever my parents gave me money for something, I'd spend as little as possible and save the rest. And then I had friends, we'd go to the movies, I'd get a $20 bill, they'd get a $20 bill. We'd spend $9 on the ticket and my friend would go and buy sweets and candy and he'd buy a bottle of water. I'm like, what are you doing wasting money on a bottle of water at the movie theater? But he knew he just wanted to spend it all. His dad wasn't gonna you know, take it back. So he's like, I just wanna get this money. I knew that I wanted to save that money so I could buy better stuff later. I didn't care about eating milk duds in a movie theater. I wanted an iPod. I wanted something else. I wanted something bigger that would take me time to save up for. And so looking at this, you realize that the most important thing you can do is learn how to delay your gratification. People who want to get rich quick, who want you know, success right now, oh, I want abs and I want them in seven days. It's unlikely, but it's the people who are willing to delay gratification over time who have the most success. That's why with everything that I teach around almost passive income, you have to understand that creating almost passive income, creating money that comes to you whether you're working or not, it doesn't happen in one night. Now you can do it in you know, a week, 30 days, 45 days, 60 days, but over the time you grow it, it's gonna turn into more and more money. If you're going to build an email list and after one month that email list is a thousand people, let's say you make a dollar per person a month, you're gonna make a thousand dollars. But if you take that thousand, reinvest it, keep growing the list, and suddenly three months from now you have 10,000 people on the list, now you're making $10,000 a month. But what most people wanna do is they wanna take that thousand they made, spend it, use it to live, you know, do all sorts of stupid stuff with it, and they end up with a business that makes them a thousand dollars a month forever, whereas this other guy is now making a hundred thousand dollars a month six months later, simply because he was willing to wait and to delay the gratification. So if you can just learn to wait, push yourself just a little bit further each time to delay gratification, you're going to end up more successful. The problem with this is there is a bit of a trap where I know people who all they do is delay gratification. They become successful, but they're absolutely miserable. And so there comes a point when you have to have some gratification. Spend some of that money on a cool trip. Buy a car that you like. Do something with it once you've earned it. But this idea of constant delayed gratification makes for miserable, successful people. So you've got to find that line. Early on, learn how to delay gratification. The more you delay it, the more you're going to make. Especially, like I said, when it comes to almost passive income. If you want to try and make a bunch of money one time, cashing in on some trend and hopefully getting lucky, good for you. But if you want consistent, reliable income that's going to come in for the rest of your life, that's going to take the ability to delay gratification. If you want to create almost passive income for yourself, we have a program called 90 Days to Freedom. Now it's called 90 Days to Freedom, not 9 Days to Freedom. We teach people how to make an extra 5 to 10 grand a month in 90 days. If you can delay gratification that long and build something, you can have an income for the rest of your life. If you want income tonight or tomorrow or in nine days, it's not for you. If you're interested, there's a link below. You can watch the video and apply. 
Uh, if you want almost passive income, I think it's the best way to create it for a beginner. So check it out.